folks, it's me, Brian, and this is what I'm drinking tonight. I'm having Elbow Patches by the Virginia Beer Company. This is the first beer of the many beers that I have been gifted by uh, Superfan Jeff. This is an oatmeal stout. So this will be my very first oatmeal stout. Um, this is... Uh, 6.2% alcohol by volume. Uh, the label reads as such. An oatmeal stout to be enjoyed with breakfast, lunch, dinner, or any time in between. So, I haven't, I haven't had dinner yet, so this is the in-between time. A smooth, velvety base sets the stage for pronounced aromas of chocolate and coffee. Well, as I like to say, I'll be the judge of that. So let's crack it open. So as I expected, this is pitch dark. Black as the night. Um, two fingerfuls of head. Aroma. Chocolate. Undeniably chocolate. I smell a little bit of uh, coffee there also. These oatmeal stouts, uh, I'm assuming they would taste a little bit like oatmeal. Um, I know that they're popular. Uh, I just haven't had them before. Uh, let's see, any other thing special on this uh, can? Nothing else special except the name, Elbow Patches. Uh, so, let's drink up. Prost, my friends. Full bodied, as I expected. Not a lot of carbonation. Heavy on the chocolate. This is like eating a chocolate bar. Heavy on, well, let me rephrase. It's heavy on the chocolate for me. I don't eat a lot of chocolate. The most chocolate that I'll eat is like uh, um, the peanut uh, M&Ms. So um, it might not be as chocolatey to you, but to me it's very chocolatey, if that's a word. As you see, the head does dissipate um, quite quickly. Um, still, uh, still there though. Smell, still smelling the the, uh, the chocolate with a little bit of coffee. I don't really taste. Um, Oatmeal, is that a thing? Am I supposed to take taste the oatmeal when it's oatmeal stout? Because I really don't taste the oatmeal here. Um, I do taste the chocolate and the coffee. And as advertised, this is smooth and velvety. Now the pronounced aromas of chocolate and coffee, I would say that the chocolate is pronounced, not necessarily the coffee. It's a different taste for me. Even though I drink some of these dark uh, Belgian ales, they're not as dark as this and they're not as chocolatey as, as this. They have about the same mouthfeel though. What I'd rate this, 75 out of 100. Um, Time will tell if this is a real good oatmeal stout or not because I have some other oatmeal stouts I can compare it to later on this week. So I can gauge on whether this is a good oatmeal stout or not. So that is a provisional rating of 75. I may amend that rating later on.
Anyway, folks, uh, stay safe, stay sane, and I will see you later.